Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel where we talk about skincare, grooming, and sometimes hair, so that sounds like your thing. Make sure you are subscribed. Also, come and follow me on Instagram where I post a lot of stuff you're not gonna see here on YouTube. My skin is super prone to dark spots, so post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. I'm Mexican, I'm English, that's my mix for those asking. So my skin tone is more prone to post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. I can have the worst spot and get a dark spot. I can have a minuscule spot and get a dark spot. So finding new products that help with this is an ongoing process. I don't think it's ever gonna stop. So today is a bit of an update on products that I've been using, products that I want to use, products that I'm interested in to help with those dark spots. I'm gonna start off with today's sponsor. Yes, I have a sponsor. We all know Zit Sticker and this is their latest launch. This is Hyperfade. These are micro dart blur patch for dark spots. I'm so excited to try this. It's one of those products where I'm like, I need to get a spot now. Again, with those micro darts, delivering the active ingredients right to the source of the dark spot. Like the killer patches, these have hyaluronic acid in as well. Again, for me, hydration is so important when it comes to sorting out um, dark spots. I feel like the drier your skin gets, the darker they look. Nice and my to brighten and tone down that redness, but Hyperfade also uses Arbutin. Arbutin is an ingredient that I look for in um, anything when it comes to evening out skin tone and dark spots, mainly in my serum. So it's kind of interesting to see it in a micro dark form. Very simply, it inhibits melanin production, helping fade, but also prevent dark spots. Licorice Root as well pretty much does the same thing. And I feel it's like an unsung hero when it comes to um, the removal of dark spots. I feel like it's Licorice Root had its moment but not enough, now it's picking up traction again. So again, helping to fade those dark spots and even out skin tone. So Zit Sticker recommend using these as much as you want, but making sure you leave a two to three day gap in between each use. Also, PSA, these can't be used on active pimples. No broken skin, you have to let that spot fade into that dark spot. So that grayish or brownish dark spot. Also, Hyperfade is specifically designed to work on dark spots, not things like sunspots. So only those dark spots that are left over from pimples. As I mentioned, I'm looking forward to using these. You use them in the exact same way as you use the um, killer patches. Clean where you're gonna apply the patch, apply the patch, then leave on for two hours plus. Again, I'll be leaving these on overnight. I'm so excited to use these. I got something, I got a spot here that I'm like, heal already and leave a dark spot. This is when it went, cause it's my job now, I don't mind getting a dark spot. So I'm like, right, another opportunity to try new stuff. But yes, Zit Sticker, we all know it, talked about it before, always recommend it. If you guys ask me for pimple patch recommendations, I will say Zit Sticker for those really aggressive under the skin ones. The Cosrx pimple patches are good more for like protection, if that makes sense. But these patches actually get to the root of the issue. They get to the blind pimples and that is because they have those micro darts. I always say this, but I always thought micro darts were a bit of a gimmick until I saw Lav Muffin talking about it. So I was like, okay, they're real, they work. They help the active ingredients go deeper and quicker into the skin, going to the root of your pimple. The micro darts take about two hours to work. I personally leave them on overnight and they just work their magic overnight. So the Killer Zit Sticker patches have um, hyaluronic acid in. I like hyaluronic acid in these because as I always mention, some spot treatments can be overly drying for the spot and that then leads to a dark spot. And that is what I'm wanting to avoid. And of course, niacinamide, one of my favorite ingredients of all time, it takes down that redness. You see me use these before, they're easy to use. You wipe down your little area with one of the wipes. <laughs> Apply the patch. I like to push very, very gently on the micro darts. And then you're done, as I mentioned, I like to leave this overnight, um, but you can leave it on for two hours, two hours minimum to give the micro darts a chance to dissolve. So yes, I will of course be linking all of the products down below in the description box. Let's move on to face washes. Now, this is kind of an area I think I neglected when it came to my dark spots. And because dark spots require a lot of patience, it's a steady process, I was kind of always after the products I think would make the quickest and most effective um, What's the word? Most effective, um, oh my God, difference, like serums, exfoliators. But cleanser is something I've really neglected that has actually sped up the process a fair bit for me. AHAs are, of course, the go-to for those stubborn, stubborn dark spots. They help refine the surface of the skin, texture, tone, and speed up that renewal process so that dark spot 
fades quicker. For me, a cleanser is a gentle yet very effective way to exfoliate daily. And I only use this once a day. Well, actually maybe every other day I'll use an exfoliating cleanser. You can use it every day. But I like to use this, I like to take my time with an exfoliating cleanser. So I'll take my exfoliating cleanser, massage that on my face and just kind of like move it around and concentrate on the areas of those dark spots for about two minutes. My current favorite AHA cleanser is of course by Holy Frog. This is their Shasta AHA Refining Acid Wash. No surprise there, I talk about this all the time, but what I like about this is you can leave it on your face for two minutes without it drying out your face. This cleanser contains a fair few AHAs as well. You've got your lactic acid, glycolic, mandelic, citric and tartaric acid. And you also have aloe vera in here which helps offset any potential irritation. I, I never feel any irritation from this whatsoever. But yeah, the AHA cleanser just gives my skin that extra push. Let's move on to exfoliating and brightening serums. Serums with exfoliating ingredients in have been quite essential in helping me fade dark spots quicker. I, but I keep saying quicker, but it, it's still a gradual process and you still need patience. But with these types of products, it does help speed up the process. But I do not like to put these all over my face. I've got my chemical exfoliator in my cleanser. I sometimes exfoliate with a BHA twice a week. I feel like it's very easy to go overboard with exfoliants. I mentioned I don't like to use direct spot treatments other than pimple patches because I find them drying alcohol heavy and as I mentioned they often leave a dark spot. So I have started using exfoliating and brightening serum as more as a direct spot treatment. Put a small drop on my finger, pop it on that dark spot twice a day, and I have found that it really, really does help speed up that process. This might not work for everyone, and I might be very particular to the exact serum I use, and that is the Sun By Me AHA, PHA, BHA <laughs> serum. I gave this another chance. I wasn't too fond of it, and I actually quite like it. Um, when used in this way. Also, apparently I mentioned um, the Good Molecules Overnight Exfoliating Treatment that has too many, have too many like citrus extracts and oils in. No, just oils. Apparently they are reformulating it without those oils. So I think next month is gonna be out. So I will 100% be giving that a go. I just wanna touch on retinol because people always mention retinol when it comes to this. It of course does help with post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. It takes a long time and I'm not in the position where I'm using retinol enough over a concentrated period of time to say that it's helping target that specifically, if that makes sense. I've seen dermatologists just say you can build your way up to using retinol every day. I'm not sure I'm ever gonna get there. I feel like that's like peak skincare level, you know? And of course, we have to, have to talk about sunscreen. I know, I know I sound like a broken record and we always talk about this all the time. But I still get comments to this day of people saying, do I really need to wear sunscreen? Is it really gonna make a difference? Yes, yes, yes. Of course, the sun is gonna make our dark spots darker. That it's the sun. <laughs> so it's vital that we use a high factor, broad spectrum sunscreen on all occasions, all occasions, but especially if you have dark spots. There's no point doing any of this if you're then gonna go out in the sun and expose those dark spots. But it's also a preventive measure as well. I've really oddly been liking this P20, P20 or P, I can't remember, um, SPF 50 plus sun cream. It's a, a four kids one. Someone left a comment on one of my videos recommending this and I tried to find the comment and I couldn't find it because I couldn't remember the video. So if it's you, I'll remember you, but thank you. This is a broad spectrum sunscreen that can supposedly protect your skin for up to 10 hours. This is a sunscreen I'll use if I'm going out for a dog walk and then I'm back at home working. Um, and I'm not really going out in the day and I still feel like I've got that protection on. I probably reapply it twice a day and it's waterproof up to three hours as well. So I'd love to know if anybody's like tested these claims. I think they'll be really interesting, but using a high factor like this with that much protection is a good idea when you have those dark spots. Hearing all this, you would think it's super, super greasy and oily. It's not. Um, I've got it on now. I say looking super greasy and oily. It does go on a little bit white, the tiniest bit white, but it settles very, very nicely on the skin. And I will apply this about half an hour before going out, not so it can activate or anything like that, just so it settles on the skin and that white cast kind of slowly fades. Those are my exact products that I've been using, looking forward to using and experimenting with a little bit as well. Let me know your go-to products for fading those dark spots. As I mentioned, I'm always on the hunt. It's an ongoing process for me. <laughs> and thank you so much to Zitsika as well for sponsoring this video and making this video possible. Check them out. I'll leave the links down below. But that is it from me now, guys. I will see you next time.